Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn love reading. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. All right, so we're going to get a Whispers of Love for an overall energy, see what's going on, and then we'll get some tarot. All right, so Whispers of Love for Capricorn. Let's pick these two. I kind of feel those are standing out. All right. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Okay. That's a good one. And then choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love. So kind of to start here, you know, with that energy of looking to your inner strength that you're stronger than you realize and choosing love I feel like is choosing those those choices and those decisions that are best for you that sometimes we don't always pet, choose make the best decisions for ourselves that sometimes we're like maybe you feel pressured that somebody else is saying well you need to do this or you need to do that but you really feel that that's not the right thing for you and I feel like maybe it's taking on that um, energy of the hangman where it's taking that step back and saying well is this really the best choice for me sometimes we have to do that in situations and sometimes we have to realize that yeah it's okay for me to take a step back it's okay for me to take that time to look at things and to see things from a different perspective and let me see if this is really the best choice for me. And I think that's something that's very important. Um, sharing, is it something, is it communication that is best for you? So I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, I'm feeling a couple different things is that are you telling someone too many things, too many personal things that maybe that person is maybe using against you or throwing back in your face, right? Sometimes people will do that. People who are not really looking out for our best interests, they will kind of take that information and they will keep that and then they will use that against us. It could also be that sh maybe sharing with someone that, hey, you know, I don't think this is the best decision for me. I don't think this is the best choice for me. I don't think this is the best direction for me. And being able to not only think about it, to look at it, but then also to express your decision, right? And it could be with a long-term relationship or it could be a friendship or it could be Maybe it's something that you've done for a long time, either sharing, you know, close information with someone, but then you always seem to feel that they throw that back in your face. It could also be that maybe this is a long-standing habit of yourself that you, you know, need to, that you haven't always made the best choices for yourself, but it's time for you to come into that energy, right? And to realize that you are stronger than you thought you were. Sometimes when we have things that come up, we're like, oh, I can never deal with that. I could never handle that. But I feel like it's you kind of realizing that, hey, you're a lot stronger than you think you are. That You can handle a lot more, right? Sometimes we worry about those things and we put undue stress and anxiety on ourselves because there's that side of us inside that says, no, you can't. No, you can't. Because maybe that is something that you have done for a long time is that, you know, that inner tape you know, with the subconscious, it's kind of saying you can't, you can't, you can't because for so long over such a long period of time that that's what you've kind of been playing in your head and you found ways to talk yourself out of things or to accept less than what you deserve. And so maybe that's that tape that's playing in your head and that's something that you have to look at, right? That's something that you have to say that, that self-sabotaging that um, energy that is saying that you can't and that's something that you need to look at and that's something that you need to let go of um, and that there's all of these this positive like right here right behind you and I see I feel like that's again taking on that hangman perspective where you turn it around and you turn that around and you face these two cups and this beautiful tree with all the pears and the sun and all of that. It's kind of recognizing that that may be the energy that, that you're in. I don't 
think there's any more cards from that one. So let's pick this one. And I feel like this is something that you don't just do once and it's over with, right? I feel like there are definitely, like we're going along and we're doing really good and we've made the changes and then all of a sudden like some things will trigger us or we just kind of wake up that morning and we're just struggling, right? And we're just in that energy and we're like, oh, I don't want to do anything. I'm worried. I'm stressed. I have anxiety. I don't really know why. And I feel like there are still going to be those days where we're in this energy, but we have to try and push ourselves through that, right? To not let that energy control us and keep us in that energy and that you're stronger than you, you, you think you are and that you can do it. And what are those tools? What are those things? that you can do to kind of change up that thinking. Um, something that I like to do, something, something that I'll do is I'll go outside and I'll blow some bubbles for my girls, right? My, my two dogs, my two girls, Gertrude and Lexi, I'll go outside and I'll blow bubbles for them. <laughs> And it's just, it's five or 10 minutes and we're outside and, you know, the girls are having a lot of fun. They're chasing the buzz, bubbles and I'm laughing and, and that'll just clear up, that'll clear up my mind. That'll clear up my energy, right? And then I'm like, okay, let's try this again. And sometimes, you know, it's one of those days where you just, you have to keep restarting. It's like you, and you move, restarting, look at that. <laughs> you just have to keep restarting and it's like okay you go for a little bit and then you're like oh I feel like I'm struggling again I feel like I'm looking at these three cups okay what can I do to change that up so I can turn myself around and look at the two cups in this beautiful pear tree what is what is that restart that I can do what is that reset button what is it that I can do what is it that I can focus on that I can turn that around and sometimes you have to restart yourself there are days where you're just moving forward and you're good and you're positive all day long and there's some days where it's like oh, okay I just have to restart I just have to restart all right let's see I feel like this one here yeah evolving and growing and choosing choosing love right choosing those decisions choices that that bring in love and make you feel comfortable, make you feel safe, make you feel good. Um, doing those things to help yourself, not being angry at yourself because, oh, I'm so irritated with myself because, you know, I'm focusing on these three of cups and then you start adding more onto your list. It's like, oh, I've got to do this and I've got to do that and this is coming up and it's like piling on all of those things and it's like, Knowing that, okay, today I'm struggling, so what are those tools that I can use to get out of this? And that, you know, you're stronger than you think you are. And that's how we grow, and that's how we learn, and that's how we learn to enjoy life, right? That we don't be angry about, you know, the day or everything that's going wrong, and that we choose us and we choose the decisions that are best for us. And we persevere. Sometimes it might just be, um, you know, just calling a friend or talking to a friend and say, hey, can you listen to me? I, I don't need, you know, I don't, I don't need a solution, but can you listen to me? Or even if you, if you don't have that, like sitting down with your dog or your cat, right? And say, okay, you need to listen to me now. <laughs> I certainly talk to the girls a lot, but that's okay because then that's a form of you getting it out or it's writing it down in a journal, right? Writing your frustrations down in, your, in a journal and getting those out and then maybe having that, you know, those pages or those journals or that manifest manifestation journal um, where you look at all of those things that you want to manifest and all of those things, you know, that are positive and that you want to head towards. So you're stronger than you think you are and that's what you have to believe and that's what you have to know and that it's okay that we get into this energy but definitely have to fight for you yourself to get through it and open that gate 
to walk away from that to turn around and see the positive, right? It's all about perspective. As before I was saying that maybe if there's someone that you've known for a long time that you, you worry about the things that you share with that person, right? Because maybe that person doesn't handle that information with care. And maybe that's something that you have to look at and you have to say, okay, I want to keep this relationship, but I'm just not going to share as much because that helps me to feel more confident and I'm not in this nine of swords because I'm not worrying about what I told that person, right? Because I need to look out for myself and myself is saying that sharing this information with this person is actually hurting me. Even though this person may want, they're asking me all of these details and they want to know all of these things, but... Are they really doing it because they want to help me or are they doing it because they want to kind of use that against me or feel like they have control over me? So maybe that's something that you need to look at. It could also be that maybe, you know, you're keeping to yourself, right? That you're keeping all of this energy and all of these thoughts to yourself and that maybe you do need to share with somebody. Maybe there is somebody that you've known for a long time that you have trusted, but you've had these walls up around this person and maybe now it's time to take those walls down and just share with that person. And being able to talk with, with someone and being able to release those things helps us feel so much better. So maybe as in the opposite is that maybe there's somebody that you can share these things with and that helps you to release some of this stress and anxiety that you have that has built up from these things that you haven't released. So whatever the situation is that applies to you, but I just feel like there's something that you have to look at from a different perspective and see it differently because whatever this thing is, is causing you this nine of swords and five of cups and whatever this thing is, I feel like this is something that is that needs to be readjusted or changed, but it's looking at it from a different perspective to see how it is affecting you in this way. And now it's time to stand up for yourself and open those doors to this growth and this evolving and this growing that brings, that chooses love, right? And for you to realize that you are stronger than you think you are. So it's almost like this circle that's going around, right? Um, that when there are situations that you feel that you're being stuck in is how can you make those changes and taking a step back to see how you can make those changes and that's going to happen all throughout life right it's not just like you do it once and then it's over and done it's like constantly as you're learning and you're growing and life is changing and the people around you are changing and your situations are changing that these things come up and sometimes you know it's maybe you'll have to say you know what this is my hangman moment I need to step back and reassess this and figure this out because I'm feeling like I'm getting stuck in this energy again. And having that as a tool, right? To move forward. All right. Um, let's do an animal oracle. Seahorse spirit, watch and wait. Just like the hangman, kind of watching, seeing what's going on, seeing what's happening, seeing what needs to be changed. Not, not reacting, not having that knee-jerk reaction, not reacting right away, figuring out what it is that you need to let go, those adjustments you need to make, and then move forward from there. Not feeling like you're rushed, like it's something that you have to do, but feeling that when you decide to move forward and and move away from this energy that you feel that it's the right thing for you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.